right, lesson nine. Uh, rules for multiplication of sine numbers. So, <laughs> sine numbers meaning like positives and negatives, okay? We're going to multiply positives and negatives and positives and positives and negatives and negatives today. Uh, we're going to talk about inverse operations, and then the same thing rules for division when you have positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, okay? Uh, it's like real easy today. We'll review, okay? So, everyone, a positive times a positive is a? Great. And 3 times 4 is? Great job. All right. Now I've got a negative times a positive. Everyone, what's a negative times a positive? Negative. Yes. A negative times a positive is a negative. So if there's one negative, the answer is negative. Now 2 times 4 is 8, and we get a negative 8. All right. Now we have a negative times a negative. So everyone, what is a negative times a negative? A positive. A positive. Great. And 2 times 3 is 6. Now, someone raise your hand. How do we know these mean multiply and not like add and subtract? Maddie? Good. Exactly. No signs like right in between the parentheses, right? They're right next to each other, so we are multiplying. All right, everyone, what's a positive times a positive? What's 2 times 9? Great job. All right, everyone, what is a positive times a negative? Great. And what's 6 times 2? Great job. And what's a negative times a negative? I think we got this, right? And 5 times 3 is 15. So this would be positive. All right, so if you have one negative, your answer will be all right, and if you have two negatives or two positives, your answer will be positive. Okay. Okay, here's another way of doing four times five with a little dot. You're still multiplying. It's positive times positive, so you get 20. And now I have a negative times a positive, so this would be a negative. And a negative times a negative multiplied together gives us a positive. Okay? All right, inverse operations. So right here, you guys, a positive 3 and a negative 3, those are additive inverse that we keep talking about, right? They've been throwing that in on a bunch of problems. Basically, if you add and subtract, those are inverse operations, okay? Addition and subtraction. And that gives you 0. So if I said, what is the additive inverse of positive 3? You would say negative 3. If I said, what is the additive inverse of negative 3, you would say positive 3, all right? And anytime you add them together, you get 0. So we get 7 for this one because those cancel out, all right? And then these are inverse operations as well. So multiplication and division are inverse operations. Really, that equals 1 right there, but they cancel each other out to be a 1, all right, in that case when you're dividing. All right, same z's for dividing as multiplying, all right? So same rules apply. So everyone, what is a positive divided by a positive? positive. It's a positive, good. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. All right, now I have a positive divided by a positive, which is also a positive, okay? And everyone, what is a positive divided by a negative? Good, and 10 divided by 5 is 2, so this would be negative 2. And 12 divided by negative 3, everyone is? All right, so your homework is going to go real quick tonight, okay? So what's negative 6 divided by 2, everyone? Great job. Notice there is one negative sign. The answer is negative, okay? Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. And now I have a negative divided by a negative, so everyone, a negative divided by a negative is a? Positive. Great job. So this would be a positive 2. And this one would be a positive 3. Okay. All right. In conclusion, the whole point of the lesson, the product or the quotient, product is multiplying two numbers, quotient, dividing, okay? Product or quotient of two signed numbers, meaning positives, negatives, that have the same sign, in other words, we're doing a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative is always positive. 
All right, so if you are multiplying or dividing, that's what product or quotient means, right? And you're doing a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative, uh, you get a positive, okay? That's what that's saying. And then it says the product or quotient of two side numbers that have opposite signs is always good. All right, so all this is saying is if you're doing a positive, negative, positive times a negative or negative times positive, you get a negative, okay? We just did it like 20 times, all right? Let's practice on the whiteboards. I don't know that you need to write that down, all right? Grab a whiteboard.